Taboo! Catchphrase. Oh. Hey, bro Ham. This party's lame. It is lame. But I brought something to save it. Dry ice and black lights. What are we gonna do with that? Science! So what's the difference between regular ice and dry ice? Well, for regular ice, when it's heated, it turns into water. Then when that's heated, it turns into steam or a gas. But for dry ice, when it's heated, it goes straight into carbon dioxide gas and never really gets wet. Thus the name dry ice. Be very careful, dry ice is colder than normal ice. It's 110 degrees below zero. In fact, this bag of water freezes within minutes. Everybody knows that you can't have a Halloween party without a fog machine. So here at Nugget of Knowledge, we'll teach you how to make one. The first step, you'll want to find a small container with a lid. A coffee can will work great. Next, you'll want to find some plastic tubing, which you can find at your local hardware store. Be sure to drill a hole on the side of the container just slightly bigger than the rubber tubing itself so it fits snugly. For the next step, prepare a large bowl of water and add a couple drops of dish soap. When that's done, fill the container with water. Grab a couple pieces of dry ice and toss it in. Be sure to wear gloves when you're handling dry ice since it's so cold that it can burn you. Quickly cap off the top, and now when the dry ice sublimates, the only place for the carbon dioxide gas is to go through the tubing. Take that tube and place it into the soapy water and try and see how big of a bubble you can get. The best part is when you pop the bubbles. The carbon dioxide gas just spreads all over the table, giving you a foggy feel for your party. The bubbles are safe to touch barehanded as long as you don't touch the dry ice within the container. Hey Jeff, punch. Sweet. You wanna spike it? Let's spike it. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I think this party's gotten way cooler since we started playing with dry ice. Definitely. Bubbles. Mm, drink some of this. <laughs> Earth? I thought there was a hole in your cup. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey, remember when you do this not to actually drink dry ice. <laughs> That's bad for you. You man, choke on. <coughs> <laughs> what is this in here? It's dry ice. Oh, it is? Oh. No, don't, don't drink it. Now don't forget, the Nuggeteers have taken over this party. Not only do we make our own fog machines, we're gonna add a little bit of color. For this next demo, we're showing you something known as the cabbage juice pH indicator. To make the cabbage juice indicator, you're gonna take one eighth of a lettuce, dice it up finely, boil it, blend it, strain it, and then let it cool. In front of us, we've got three glasses of cabbage juice. On the right, we're adding baking soda. On the left, we're adding vinegar. Watch what colors they change. Well, in the middle, we're gonna to toss in some dry ice. Can you guess what color it's gonna turn? Skip ahead five minutes and let's see what we get. We see that the cup with dry ice has turned a little pinkish, meaning that the solution has turned acidic. So to the science. The cool thing about cabbage juice indicator is that when it's in the presence of something basic, such as baking soda or ammonia, the solution will turn blue. When something acidic is mixed in, such as vinegar, citrus juice, or dry ice, the solution will turn pink. Hey, we're not done with these smoke effect yet. Now we're going to start shooting smoke rings at people. First, find a party cup. Second, cover the top of the cup with saran wrap. Third, secure the saran wrap with a rubber band. And fourth, cut a large hole on the bottom of the cup. Now, pour just a little bit of warm water into the cup. And also, toss a small piece of dry ice in. Don't forget to handle them with gloves. When you're ready, tap the bottom of the saran wrap gently and you'll start seeing smoke rings. Now you can start aiming it at people. Since no one's at our party, um, I guess we'll just aim it at the camera. All right, guys, make sure to stay tuned for part two of this video. Um, in the meantime, make sure to check us out, write some comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, all the social medias, and we'll see you next time. Look at those!